Okay, so we are now looking at the axon of a neuron and what we are going to look at first is what's the situation in the neuron when it is at rest? Okay, so we're going to look at the resting potential. So there's a certain kind of electrical state that the axon maintains itself in when there's no signal. And then we'll start. Then we'll look at what causes the change to that. Um, that constitutes an action potential, and how then does that move down the axon? Okay. So the resting potential of uh, a neuron is minus seventy millivolts. Minus seventy. So that's that's where that action or, or where that potential difference. So that's essentially the difference in charge between the inside of the cell and the outside of the cell is minus 70, i.e. there is more negative charge inside the cell than the outside. Now let's look at how, why that is the case. So there's certain proteins in the membrane of the, uh, of the axon, of the plasma membrane, that allow this uh, ionic balance to be maintained. The first most important one is the sodium potassium pump. So the sodium potassium pump is constantly using the energy of ATP hydrolysis, using the energy of ATP hydrolysis, converting that to ADP, that's what's right. Okay, and pumping or actively transporting sodium out of the cell and potassium into the cell. Now what you should notice is that they are both positively charged ions, K plus and sodium plus. So by itself, that shouldn't really lead to any charge imbalance. <coughs> so, Let's just get rid of some of this detail. Okay, so we'll get rid of the ATP, ADP stuff. Look at that. Right, so sodium is being moved out or pumped out. Potassium is being pumped in. Okay, and this is against their concentration gradients because you're going to have a large concentration of potassium already inside the cell. You're going to have a large concentration of potassium outside of the cell, but those ions are still moving into the area with the higher concentration, so that needs energy. Anyway, this by itself would result in a potential difference across the cell membrane of zero millivolts, because there's positive inside and there's equally the same number of positive ions outside, so why do we have a resting potential of minus 70? And the reason is these potassium leak channels or potassium channels that are always open, okay? Um, so they allow the movement by facilitated diffusion of potassium out of the cell down its chemical gradient. So if we have a look here, we've got loads of potassium inside the cell and these channels, these protein channels, they are open for potassium, okay, not for sodium. And because they're open, potassium will diffuse down a concentration and a concentration gradients. Now, there's no electrical gradient because it's already positive outside. But there is loads of potassium inside the cell and none or hardly any potassium outside the cell, so there is a gigantic concentration gradient and potassium moves down that gradient. So, some potassium ends up outside. Okay, now we do have some imbalance. We've got all the sodium outside, all the potassium inside, but some of the potassium inside has gone out because it's been allowed to diffuse out down its concentration gradient through these channels. And if we look at the overall balance now, now it is more positive outside. We've got more positive ions outside here compared 
to the inside. Now, why doesn't potassium keep going out? At some point, the charge outside gets so positive that effectively the negative charge that's building up every time a potassium goes out builds up to the point where um, potassium is kind of attracted back in because of that electrical gradient. So at this point, at this point, what we say is the electrical and concentration uh, gradients for potassium have balanced out at a point where there's more potassium outside, uh, there's more positive ions outside and less positive ions inside. At this point then, this is the situation at rest. So this is why that resting potential is minus 70. There's a few more positive ions out here than there are in here, causing the outside to be more neg uh, positive than the inside, therefore the inside to be minus 70 compared to the outside. So that's the situation at rest. Now, what happens during the action potential? 